ተናስተልኝ የዝግጅታችን ተከታታዮች እንደምን ሰንብታችኋል የዛሬው እንግዳችን የ11 አመት ታዳጊ ስትሆን ለእንግድነት የጋበዝናት የአንድ ትልቅ ሞያ ባለቤት በመሆኑ ነው እንግዳችን ጽዮን ደሳለኝ ትባላለች ሞያዋ ደግሞ በገናና ክራርን እንደ ልጅ ሳይሆን እንደ አዋቂ ባህላዊና ሃይማኖታዊ ታሪካቸውን ጨምራ መጫወት መቻሏ ነው ጽዮን የተወለደችው ኢትዮጵያ ቢሆንም ከተወለደች ከ3 ወር በኋላ አባቷ ለትምህርት ወደ ተጓዘባት የሩቅ ምስራቋ ጃፓን ሀገር እርሷም የተጓዘች ሲሆን አንድ አመት ከ8 ወር ስኪሞላ ድረስ እዚያው ጃፓን ሀገር ኖራለች ከዚያም ወደ አውስትራሊያ መጣ አሁን እስከደረሰችበት 11 አመቷ ድረስ ኢትዮጵያ ተመለሳ ባታውቅም በአባቷ አስተማሪነት በገናና ክራርን በሚገባ መጫወት ይችላል ሲሆን አባቷ አገልግሎት በሚሰጥባቸውና እዚ ሜልበርን በሚገኙት የሚካኤልና የልደታ ቤተክርስቲያናት በርሷ አድሜ ካሉ ታዳጊዎች ጋር መሳሪያዎቹን የመጫወት መደበኛ ለምምድ የምታደርግ ሲሆን ብዙ ታዳጊዎችም መሳሪያዎቹን የመጫወት ፍላጎት እንዲኖራቸው ምክንያት ሆናለች ሲሆን ያማርኛ ቋንቋን ለመግባቢያነት ገና የተለማመደች ስለሆነ ቆይታችንን ያደረግ ነው በእንግሊዝኛ ሲሆን ራስዋን በማስተዋወቅ ትጀምራለች First of all thank you Bafikr for having me for this interview My name is Zion Baruk Dasalen I'm 11 years old and this year I'll be in grade 3 Today I'll be explaining and doing Ethiopian Orthodox Taido Church musical instruments Right So tell me how many musical instruments that belong to the Ethiopian Orthodox Church that you know of There are six there's Krar Bagana Mesenko Washint Kabro and Tsanatsil and there's also Mekwamia which is used during liturgy but you can also use it in other mesmers too Okay and and which ones can you play I can play Krar um I'm at some level of Bagana and I'm learning Mesenko Right You are holding the Krar which is a very popular Ethiopian musical instrument Let's hear you play it and tell us what song you are going to play. The meaning of the mesmers that I'm going to do is uh, saying that God will never leave Ethiopia unprotected. And it says in the Bible, um, in David, that uh, Ethiopia reaches its hands to the Almighty God.
That is incredibly beautiful. Beautiful sounds of the Qur'an and beautiful words. Thank you, Zion. Now let's move on to the other instrument that you can play, which is a beginner. Could you tell me what you know about the beginner instrument? Um, the beginner is a stringed instrument and it has 10 strings, which actually represents the Ten Commandments and the right and left represent the Archangels Saint Gabriel and Saint Mikhail and it's been played for over 5,000 years and Adam's children also played the Begana but it's mostly used and known in the Bible with King David and King David used to always play the Begana for Saul whenever Saul was sick and that's why it's called the uh, healing instrument and the Begana always made King Saul uh, feel better when he was sick. So one day King Saul heard that King David would be the next king. So he wanted to kill King David and he got a bow and arrow and tried to kill King David. But the back of the arrow actually hit the back of the Begana. And that's why there's always a cross at the back of the Begana. Okay. Maybe if you could just swap the Qur'an with the beginner, it will help you talk about it and you can show us where the cross is. So these are the ten strings which represent the Ten Commandments and the left and right which represent the Archangels Saint Gabriel and Saint Mikhail and at the back of the Begana there's a cross because the arrow hit the back of the Begana. What else can you tell me about the Begana? It's a magnificent looking instrument, isn't it? In the church we use Yara Dawi Zema and uh, the Begana is played uh, with Yaradewi Zema Mesmurs and I see a lot of people playing Begana and other Ethiopian Orthodox Twaida church musical instruments and um, one way that I wanted to praise God and accompany Mesmurs is by using those instruments to beautify Mesmurs and the Mesenko and other instruments are also mentioned that they beautify Mesmurs and Yared got the Yaradewi Zema um, from the angels in the symbol of three birds, Ge'ez, Ez, and Ararai. Okay, can we hear you play the beginner? So um, maybe just pick your favorite one and tell us what it is. Uh, the mesmur that I'm going to do is normally played during Passion Week. Begitte semani, but 
Bhagavata Bhagavata Semani Bhata Kul Tu Bhata Lenya Sil Gita Chin Balan Tengelata Balan Tengelata Adam Nahiwan Bhata Bhot Fata Adam Nahiwan and you really are good at it tell me about what it means to you to be able to play these instruments at church uh, there's two churches um, of kids that my dad's teaching St. Mikhail and Lidita and uh, to me I think the uh, playing the Ethiopian Orthodox Twitter church instruments it, uh, it it's enjoyable and it it's enjoyable because you beautify mesmers by actually doing something and playing an instrument. And it's also because it's your cultural heritage, isn't it? I know you were born in Ethiopia, spent a little bit of time in Japan, and you grew up here in Australia. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, even though I can't remember Japan and Ethiopia, I still know the heritage and culture and the instruments come from the Ethiopian Orthodox Twido Church uh, heritage and the Ethiopian culture. And uh, I know one thing that Mesenka is not only played for the church, it's also played in Ethiopia with traditional songs and also the kabara. Yeah. So does playing these instruments help you connect to your Ethiopian heritage? Yeah, playing the instruments actually helps me understand the uh, heritage and culture. And one, day, one way that I can get uh, stay connected with the culture and heritage is by playing the instruments. My goal is to learn all the instruments and to master them and to sing mesmos with them. And also to share my knowledge after that. Tell me how much your father has contributed to your understanding of these instruments and the stories behind them. Uh, yeah, he taught me um, most of the instruments. 
Um, but the Bagana, I've seen videos on YouTube and the internet about how to play Bagana, and I've also I'm also I'm also self-taught on Bagana. But with Karad, he's been teaching me and others, and with Mesengar, he's going to teach me. Okay, so you just mentioned that you don't remember anything about Ethiopia at all. How old were you when you left or how old did they tell you you were? Uh, they told me that I was around three months old when I left Ethiopia. Okay, so you have no recollection. Now, when you go back to Ethiopia one day, what's the first thing you'd like to do? Uh, the first thing I want to do is to visit the church and see the instruments and how they play the instruments and also seeing my family, seeing the church and culture and the, uh, learning the language and seeing the way that everyone lives. So Sion, what would you say to other young Ethiopians growing up in Australia who probably are considering taking up playing these types of instruments as a hobby or as a way of learning about the Ethiopian culture. What would you say to them? Uh, I would say uh, to play the instruments, you must love the mesmors because the Ethiopian Orthodox Taito church musical instruments are used only for the church uh, hymns and mesmors, not for other mesmors too. So you have to make sure that you love mesmors and only play the instruments with those mesmors. And also you need to practice and if you have interest you can uh, practice a lot or if not you can just practice as much as you can and try your best. And you can try getting used to putting your fingers on the strings and uh, playing each note and you can learn tuning and everything on YouTube. And um, just try your best and through practice you can master the karat and other instruments too. Beautiful. Such a wonderful message. Now, Zion, how did you manage not going to church during the COVID-19 lockdown? Uh, because of COVID, we weren't able to go to church. But what we did is uh, the church actually had a live stream of the Kadasa, the liturgy. So we always used to follow that and pray at home. And for big celebrations, we used to always just gather around um, in our houses, but do like Zoom meetings and, cele and celebrate on Zoom meetings and everything like that. Okay. Sion, what do you want to be when you finish school? Um, in the future, after school, I would like to be a doctor. And in my spare time, I would also like to make sure that I still remember my heritage and culture and go to church and remember the instruments. And in my free time, I'll still be able to practice and share my knowledge about the instruments in church. Okay, brilliant. I have now finished my questions, but is there anything that you would like to say before we conclude? Uh, uh, I want to say thank you to my dad for teaching me uh, the instruments and the culture and uh, trying his best to teach others too and I've tried my best and thank you for teaching me. Thank you so much, Sion. And can we please hear you play a final mesmo before we conclude the interview?
Thank you.